Staying on security, a coalition of civil society organizations has passed a vote of confidence on President Muhammad Buhari. President of the Coalition of Civil Societies and Media Executives for Good Governance, Omoba Aigbebele, says the security situation across the sub-Saharan Africa is a fallout of disintegration of the Libyan state with proliferation of small arms across the region. His statement, he, made the statement in, he made this statement while addressing newsmen. I would like to warn that this report contains flash photography. Celestine Area reports. On 22nd February, over seven civil society organizations had declared that both the federal and state governments have failed in their responsibilities to keep the country secured from banditry, kidnappings, armed robbery, and terrorism. The CSO had called on the National Assembly to initiate impeachment proceedings against President Muhammad Buhari for failing to perform its duty of protecting the lives and properties of Nigerians. <laughs> But this has, however, drawn reactions from other civil society organizations who have distanced themselves from this position. Civil society organizations on pro-democracy and anti-corruption, Citizens Watch Advocacy Initiative, and a coalition of civil societies, media societies, and media executives for good governance in Nigeria have passed a vote of confidence on President Muhammad Buhari's administration. They believe the Buhari administration has sacrificed both men and equipment to keep Nigerians safe, secure, and united. They attribute the security situation across sub Saharan Africa, disintegration of Libyan states, which has resulted in the proliferation of small arms across sub Saharan Africa. Since 2015, that President Muhammad Buhari came, he has done so much. But you should understand the peculiarity of our country, where as soon as you become a leader, a lot of fifth columnists surrounds you and make your job difficult. The man has been working. We're not saying it's not working. But you see, he needs Nigerians like you and I to support him, to encourage him. In the past decade, there have been a spite of violent attack linked to the Boko Haram terrorist group in the northern part of the country, where thousands of lives have been lost and there have been extensive damage to property. Conflict between nomadic headsmen, cattle rustlers, and farmers have most recently expanded to other parts of the country with an escalation in despite of violent clashes resulting in several deaths with entire villages burned down and animals and farmlands being destroyed. Despite these pyramids of security challenges which remains both internal and regional, Nigerians are optimistic that the change agenda promised by President Muhammad Buhari will see the light of the day. Celestina Iria, TVC News, Abuja.